Well, to be accurate, it is not a barn. The uh, car is sitting in a more of an RV type of garage. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's rough. But nevertheless, it is a 1972 Corvette convertible LT1. And uh, the interesting thing about this car is that it's not only a convertible, but it also has AC, which is, I think, pretty rare. And uh, it's in need of a full restoration. And I don't know if the owner is uh, would be interested in selling the car. I don't think so. But um, anyway, the car needs a full restoration. And it seems to be all original. I tried to look at the engine number to match it with the VIN, but uh, it is it is pretty pretty hard to see under there, and it's not you know very easy to read. So I. I did not dig deep enough to confirm that but he tells me the owner tells me that is uh, the original engine it is also a four-speed car which is a must-have for a c3 corvette i believe and uh, here you can see the uh, pillar vin number and the all-important letter l there which indicates it's an lt1 And again, it's going to need all the interior trim. It's going to need a new dash. It's going to need seats. It's going to need everything. Uh, the carpet is just ruined. It has some um, cracks here and there. The paint, it was repainted according to the owner several years ago. He didn't do the job, but uh, the previous owner had that done. And uh, it's the paint is just shot. A uh, few little pieces, trim pieces missing, but he tells me he thinks he has most of the stuff. And um, uh, being a convertible, it has, of course, the um, soft top, which is under that lid. And he also has the original um, removable hard top, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's, uh, again, it's, it's in need of a a full resto according to the to the trim tag it's the um, classic white I believe that was the uh, name of the paint and the uh, beige or saddle interior which is not the greatest in my opinion I mean I, I think a white car with a bright blue or red interior looks really awesome but saddle eh, blah blah whatever it's not that interesting but um, those are small details. Uh, weather stripping is pretty much uh, shot. The, uh, the door panels, also I, I think they uh, would have to be replaced uh, or at least redone professionally. And by the way, this car would have to be uh, restored by a professional. I mean, can't just let just anyone handle a car like this. This is just too unique in my opinion to, uh, and it deserves a, uh, a professional restoration. And yes, yeah, someone added at some point those uh, trim line stickers. And um, it needs the LT1 decals after a complete uh, respray. frame all that looks pretty solid uh, the exhaust um, needs to be redone of course but uh, other than leaks and um, dirt and grease and grime and all of that it's, it's it's in pretty good condition I didn't have a lift to look under there but uh, what I could see looks looks pretty good it's just an old car The, uh, of course the passenger side the door was stuck we couldn't get it open and I tried um, the panel I don't know if he probably has it somewhere but it's, it's not there and again the uh, the engine everything looks legit 
He told me he replaced the intake manifold, but he has the original. Same thing with the carb, I think. And um, I didn't even know that those uh, cars have like a high-rise type of intake manifold. But yeah, I think the car is the uh, the real McCoy, and um, it would look beautiful after a full restoration, of course. But I don't know what the plans are. As far as I know, the owner wants to get it running again because it's been in that garage slash barn for probably well over a year. So after that, he may want to do some of the interior. I don't know. I don't know the exact plans. But uh, again, in my opinion, the car needs to be fully restored. As you can see, those tires still have the, uh, the blue on the white letters. Uh, they were brand new. BF Goodrich uh, tires, but that was uh, over 10 years ago, so they also will need to be replaced. Okay, so that's it. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. How much would you pay for a car like this in this condition? How much money would you spend restoring a car like this? That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Take care.